Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the last video we looked at the beginnings of the zone system and now we're continuing. And what I've got for you free is some overlays. And let's put one in here. And you can you can go to open, but the easiest way to do it is to go to file and place. And you can see here there there are ones here. And if you can't see it, click on this here and click on all documents at the bottom because sometimes it comes up with just text. Then pick the one you want. So we'll go to the standard Ansel Adams one and then you just draw it out like this. And what you see is the stages here from zones from 0 to 10. And 0 is pure black, 10 is pure white. And underneath are three bars here which you can choose to use as you will. Some people, and more correctly perhaps, go from the top one here because this ends in black and it's just pure black from there on. This ends at white because it's pure white from there on. Some people like to like it kind of halfway down so you've got a little bit of it. And I do that quite often as well. And sometimes it just goes from end to end. So you've got a little bits of off-white here and a little bits of off-black here. Although they will look mostly black. Up to you. What, for example, what you can do with this is to, to overlay it and then just kind of look in the slot here. And if you can, or even look above here if you want to use just those. Because these bars here is if you want a continuous thing and you see the shades within here. So let's put it up here. And say I want to sort of improve this dark area here. Problem is now, um, how do I match the greys here to this? And the answer is very simply, you've got to convert the picture to black and white. Actually, I'm going to move this out of the way and show you something, because if I take this picture and say, well, I convert it to black and white, watch what happens here. If I click down here and then click on black and white, looking at that dark overlay area, and look at this. It's just gone to mud. It's disappeared. You can't see any contrast there at all. That's not much good. You can play around with these to, to try and change it, but you're not going to get anything consistent. If you go to HSL and you desaturate it there, then where you've got a lot of saturated colours, they will all go to exactly the same grey. The best way to do it is to use the standard one, which, you know, one of the standard ways, which gets to the um, normal luminescence thing, which is 30% red, 60% uh, black or 59% um, of green, and then the rest 11% blue, um, which is how you mix the colours to get the black and white. And this is what you get here. So now we've got something a bit more useful. And because this is a non-destructive, I can always delete this afterwards and go back to the colour image. So now if I come up here, I just go over this here to look at where the best match is. And here, it's about this one, isn't it? And so that's around about level, you know, zone four. I'd like colours to be further down here, at least to zone three, and maybe even to zone two. How do I do that? So I just click on the background here and do to something like curves. And now I just go to the picker, go to where I am at the moment, which is looks like zone four, click in there on the grey there and just drag that down. And what's going to happen is this going to move down and down until it gets to where I want it to. So for example, now look over here, see that's matching there. So I've moved that over to zone two, which is perhaps where that, you know, if I want a dark shadow there, that's okay. Lighter shadow might be zone three. So that's kind of fun. But now what about the rest of it? Because I pulled everything down. Maybe I want to push things up. So I've got the sky. And where's the sky there? Well, the sky up here is in zone 6, isn't it? That's about the best match there. Um, so maybe I want to push that one up a couple of, of zones. So again, I go to the curves, go to the picker, pick on the one, where is it? There it is, which is there. And click on that and then drag this up and it automatically puts a point in here. And things are going to go up now. So I'm going up and up and up here to it's kind of a match round about there getting to zone eight there. So now what I can do 
is I can hide this one. Just click on there to hide that. And now I've got a far better contrasty picture of that area. But now if I turn off the, the vibrance, ah, the colours are gone a bit weird. Not a problem. I go down to the blend mode down here and change that to luminosity. And there you go. There you've got a, if you like, a fixed picture before and after. Yeah, before and after by paying attention to the zones. What you have got in here, by the way, as well, I'm going to put this one here and I'm going to file place. I've got a seven zone one in here and file place a five zone one. The five zone one is just the traditional black shadows, midtones, highlights, and whites, which is, are often used if you just want to keep it that simple. The seven zone one is sort of in between. So this is the Ansel Adams one. This is the you know, common one. This is an in between one if you find this too many. Also, some people I've seen it said that this is one camera stop between each step, but I've also seen it said that this is one camera stop between each one. But in terms of photo editing, it actually doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Anyway, there it goes. Go down below, find the link, follow the link, and you should get these completely free. And you'll also get one of these, which tells you what they all mean. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.